Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at another one of these awesome Gravistar speakers. So this one right here is a Mars Pro, so it is a little bit different from the Mars we would have seen last time. And also that video was in a lot more depth than this one is going to be. So if you want to know more about these particular speakers, you can check out that video. So this one I'm throwing up quite quickly because right now Gravistar are having a pretty big Black Friday sale. So if you do want one of your own, now is the time to get one. So there's a link down there in the description. If you want to get yourself a really awesome sci-fi themed Bluetooth speaker that will match with your sci-fi and robot collection, while at the same time supporting the channel, you can do so down there. But anyway, let's get this open. So anyway, that right there is absolutely everything that comes inside of the box once you get it all unpacked. So that is a very nice double-sided art card that shows the Gravistar Mars Pro wrecking up the battlefield, the instructions, a little packet of bolts for putting it together, we've got some cabling, and we've also got a little screwdriver in here as well. As far as I know, you may need a hex wrench, which is not included, but we'll see very soon. And what you need that for is this array of weaponry that we can attach onto the Mars Pro to get it battle ready. But before we take a look at that, I'm going to talk very shortly and quickly about the Gravistar Pro itself. So this is very similar to what we would have seen with the Gravistar Mars, but it has some extra features and some better specs. And I will mention just from a layman's perspective on speakers, this sounds incredible in comparison to what already sounded great to me, which was the... Gravistar Mars. This definitely does focus on the bottom end of the sonic spectrum, so you're going to get a lot of bass out of this. Not so much on the trebly side, more bass than anything else, so if that's what you like from a speaker, this will get your place rumbling. The actual Gravistar Mars, that has some great bass, but has a lot more treble on top of that. You may have actually seen this in the back of some of my videos lately. That's because this has a spectacular color show. With the standard Mars Pro, we've got green. There is some other ones out there that have different color lights, but you're stuck with the green. You can turn them off and you can turn them on. This right here has a cycle of colors or a choice of colors, which I absolutely love. You can probably tell because I've got colors cycling all over the place. So the controls on this are just as simple as they were before. Over here is the button for the lights. This is the button for turning it on, and this right here is the button to sync up your Bluetooth. So I'm going to press this to turn it on. Bluetooth connected. So once again, round back to the controls. If you want to connect up your Bluetooth, press this button here. This button here works the lights. So the default mode in here is this color cycling, which goes through the full color spectrum. This is really nice, really soft, and quite slow and relaxing. If you don't like that, you can actually hit this button here, give it a double tap, and it will lock the color. Press it to cycle through the colors like so, and you've got your orange, green, pink, red, light blue, blue, and back to the orange. So the green on here matches very, very nicely with the regular Gravistar Mars right here. But I will mention one aspect that really did shock me a little bit, and it does mention this online, so it is out there, the information. You can pair two Gravistars together, but they do have to be running on the exact same tech, which the Gravistar Mars right here and the Gravistar Mars Pro back there are not, so you cannot sync these up, which I found a little bit disappointing. However, if you do find yourself in the same situation as me, which means you have two Gravistars that don't sync up together, well, all is not lost. I found a little bit of a workaround, which is to download Voice Meter on PC, and then you can actually send sound to both of these at the exact same time. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually running true stereo or not, but it does sound damn good. So it's about time we got this armored up, so let's get the parts you can add onto it out. So we've got an ammo belt. I'm assuming this is the ammo canister. Whoa, that's got a nice heft to it. We've got a big old shield. There is the double gatlings and it appears that, as well as these two little metal bars, we do actually have an included hex wrench in here for getting this done. So 
finally, there is a spin of the Gravistar Mars Pro Shark 14 with everything attached on. And this looks really cool. You can actually pivot the shield and you can pivot the gun up and down if you want to. And honestly, if you do want a Bluetooth speaker that fits in with all your mecha model kits, this really is the one right here. So then just load yourself up some Gatling or minigun style SFX and you've got yourself a Gravistar Mars ready to blow everything to bits. So as well as the Mars Pro 4, they also sent these on to me as well, which is their gaming earbuds. So let's take a quick look at them. So these come inside a really kick-ass case with a clear front. This is a bit of a mecha or sci-fi sort of supply drop kind of look or an equipment case. On cracking it open, we've got this little cardboard box, as well as the earbuds themselves, which are in a metal case, I might add. Inside of the cardboard box, then we've got multiple different cups for using on the earbuds, depending on the size of your ear. We've got the USB charging cable. And what I didn't expect in here, but what is pretty cool is we also get a neck chain as well for attaching this all onto. Like I mentioned, the case in here is metal and this feels so premium. There it is under normal lighting, so you can see this has a lot of nice detailing. It is in a nice silver. The upper segment pops open when you press in this button. These have some indicator lights on top so you can see if they're charging. And when you actually remove them from the case, we get that activating sound that we've seen so far with all the Gravistar stuff, as well as a little bit of an LED in there. That is slick. The earbuds themselves look very, very nice, but I guess it's not necessarily what they look like that matters. It's what they sound like. So when it comes to this sound on these, I have to say, and this is putting it mildly, these blew me away. This is not what I was expecting whatsoever. So I didn't give these the full run through. I just gave them a quick go on a few games. I listened to some music through them to see exactly what they're like. And just to make a bit of a comparison, the headphones or the headset that I usually use are the Arctis Pro by Steel Series. And compared to those, these are head and shoulders so much better. I know it is mainly because they are in ear, so you get a lot more bottom end. But I don't even know what the technical term or anything is, but when you have music or sound in games, sometimes all the sounds are a little squeezed together if you've got, you know, pretty bad headphones. But if you've got really good ones, they're all separated apart and everything is where it should be, very easy to hear, the subtleties are all there, and that is exactly what these do. They are incredible. I tried to listen to the Steel Series afterwards. It was like listening to two tin cans. These are really, really good, and I didn't expect that. When they said they'd send them on to me, I was like, ah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of in-ear headphones, but I have been converted. So yeah, what can I say? I am totally impressed. I love the first Gravistar the first time around. The Gravistar Pro is even better. And honestly, the shining light to me out of all of this stuff was the earbuds. These are so, so good and are going to be my go-to gaming earbuds from here on out. Again, super impressed. If you do want some of your own, there's a link down there in the description. Their Black Friday sale is on right now, so get in there while there are some deals. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more reviews, and I'll be seeing you next time.